Hi everyone, this is Gadget Lily. This video is a complete facial massage for good circulation, lymphatic drainage, and detoxification. You can use this video to follow along. Key sections are apply generous amount of oil to hands and face, warm up of the lymphatic nodes of the neck area, forehead, eye area, nose, cheeks, jawline, and follow each section of the face with behind the ear detoxification movements. Use any light facial oil available to you in your country. I can't stress this enough. It's not in the oil, it's in the movements. Although I have used facial massage for many years, I did not create this method. I learned this from Dr. Ivan Six. More of your questions may be answered at the end of this video, so I hope you follow to the end before leaving it in the comments. The original video and Q&A are linked in the description box. Please note that I am not a massage therapist nor a skin specialist. I cannot make individual recommendations. Thank you and I hope you enjoy your massage. I always start with cleansed skin. There's no makeup or any skin care on it. We start out by applying a generous amount of facial oil on your hands, face, and neck. The oil is needed to provide a slip on the skin, a slippery surface, so that the movements can glide on the skin so there is no tugging or pulling of the skin. Use any light facial oil that is available in your country. The importance is not in the oil itself, but is in the movements and the fact that you are actually doing the massage on a regular basis. Make sure you have oil on the knuckles as well. This part is extremely important. We are now going to warm up the lymphatic nodes in the neck area. It's important to warm up this area to lightly stretch and open up the muscle in the neck. We will continue to do this warm up uh, till there's a, we could feel a warmth in the neck and that the muscle is quite relaxed. The movement here is a gliding from around the jawline down and um, you're using the back of your hands or the knuckles. If you need to, you can always add more oil to your hands. The first place we are going to start uh, is going to be in the forehead, right between the, the eyebrows. Here I am showing you the direction of the movements. It's going to be upward using your knuckles. We will do this for about 30 counts gliding upward between your brows using your knuckles. The amount of pressure should be light but yet you can feel some kind of a pressure 
but not、um, not to the point of being painful. You might see a slight pinkness or redness on your skin, and that is okay.、Um, it should subside within three minutes. That is due to blood flow, increased blood flow. But if it persists after that, then you probably did it too hard, and should go a little lighter. Now we are going to glide outward and do that for thirty counts. Always be aware that you are gliding on the skin with a slight pressure, and not pulling or tugging at anything. Again, we are doing this to increase blood circulation to the face, and also to facilitate in detoxification. The movements should stop right about. The temples. After each section of the face, we are going to always do a behind-the-ear detoxification movement, and this is what we are going to do now. Start from the temples and go down, right to the close to the ears, and down to your neck. So glide down. On both sides. Each time we do this movement, we do about fifteen counts. Again, you are only using your knuckles and not the fingertips when you glide down and tracing around the ears. Now we are concentrating in the eye area, right between your eyes, in the hollow between your eyes. Curl up your fingers, the index fingers, and make small circles. Please be gentle in the eye area, as you know、um, it's most sensitive. So be gentle and make. Small circles, but with slight pressure. This movement is also very helpful to relieve eye fatigue and eye strain. Now we are going to target some of the pressure points. Right by the brow bone, curl up your index fingers and trace around the brow bone, and do that for about thirty times. Again, make sure there is oil on your face, on your fingers, and slight pressure so that you could feel it, but yet gentle and not tugging or pulling on your skin. Stop right by your temples.
Just like after the forehead section, we are now going to do the behind the ears detox movement for 15 times. Now we are going to concentrate on the under eye area. This is good for depuffing, for good circulation under the eyes. Again, be very gentle because it's under the eyes. We are going to start with a rolling movement that's rolling out with your knuckles and putting slight pressure to hit those pressure points under the eyes but very gently and no pulling or tugging. We are using the rolling movement to facilitate uh, fluids and the movement of the fluids and also uh, to detox. Rolling out toward the temples on either side and we do this for 30 times. You can slightly lean into your hands uh, to facilitate the movements. Just slightly apply a little pressure with your head. Now instead of rolling, we are going to do a gliding motion. No pulling or tugging, a gliding motion up to the temples and we are going to do this five times. We will end this section again with the behind the ears detox movements. 15 counts. We only have one movement for the nose area and that's right there and some pressure points there. We will use our knuckles and again make circular, small circular motions and also um, you can use your head to put, apply a little pressure and press in to make it easier and lessen the hand fatigue so you can put a little pressure using your head, leaning into it. And again, don't be too hard and just do that for 30 counts. I find this movement to actually help me clear out my sinus a little bit uh, after the facial massage. After this, we are going to go straight into 
the cheeks. Do the rolling motion right under the cheekbone. So just roll out and do that for thirty times. You will feel some type of pressure right there, and that is normal because that is、uh, where some of the pressure points are. So again, roll out thirty times. Double check to make sure there is still oil on your face and hands, and then we are going to do the slide up mo motion, upward five times, gliding up to the temples. And now we are ready to repeat the behind the ears detox movement fifteen times. Unlike our heart, the lymphatic system doesn't have a pump, so these facilitating movements are really helpful、um, to increase the efficiencies of the lymphatic system. We often forget that our skin is an organ, and to have healthy skin. It really is important for our body to be in good health as well. Now we are going to work on the jawline. Right there, there are quite a few pressure points right along the jawline, and we are going to make sure there's oil. We're going to do the gliding. It's a little bit harder to control, but、um, if you have enough oil. And you just follow along your jawline.、Uh, you can do the rolling out. We do this for thirty times. This actually feels really good because. From our eating and talking and all the chewing, I think、um, our our jawline is always very tight, and this is very relaxing for this area, especially for people that clench their teeth. And now we are going to change the movements. We are going to curl up two of our fingers and do a gliding up motion. It might feel a little sore, but that's also、um, just relaxing muscle in that area. And I do this 
movement for 30 times. It's a gliding upward movement. Again, I would end this section with behind the ears detox movements 15 times. And we have completed all the movements. At the end, I usually give my hands a quick massage using the oil that is left on my hands. To remove the excess oil, I take a warm towel and it doesn't matter whether you are going to wash your face afterwards again or that you um, are going to leave the oil on your face. I think it's always nice to take the excess of the oil off your face um, and it's very relaxing. The warm towel I leave on for about um, 30 seconds or so or when the towel actually gets cool and it's no longer um, warm anymore. After this part of removing the excess oil you can continue on your own skincare whether it's uh, washing your face or just applying your skincare products that's really up to you. I get a lot of questions on that, but I can't possibly know what is best for you. So you have to make that determination yourself. And I uh, sometimes wash my face afterwards uh, because I feel like I have too much oil still on my face. Um, and just go ahead and do my skincare routine at night or not at all so it really just depends and only you can answer that how often to do this facial massage is all up to you whether you want to do it in the morning or at night um, I do I do it most of the time at night before I go to bed but there are times when I would do it before I shower in the morning so again it depends I like to drink a little water afterwards and, um, and just relax and take it easy. I believe skincare is an integrated process. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.